66 <laughs> pound trout hit. I just oh, yeah, want to see yeah. it right now. So I'm here with Mark with DOA. Uh, he's telling us a lot about these lures. As y'all know, we just aired an episode on the bait buster, DOA, uh, catching the tarpon and it's smoked a live bait. And I'm here with him. And the first thing we're gonna show you is the West Coast go-to, what we hear about on all the inshore side, the five, what, five and a half inch? Five point, we call it the five point five jerk shad. Five point five jerk shad. Mm -hmm. um, kind of go-to, like Mark said, very basic jerk shad, but for some reason it's the one, you know? I think it has a lot to do with the size. I think it's just, it's a little bit bigger than what most of the freshwater guys are using. And it's not so giant that it's gonna wear you out and you know, on an, on an average day of casting. But yeah, great go-to bait. You can do a few things with the tail. You can clip it and make a split tail. You can leave this diamond and it gives it a little more a little more steering, uh -huh. but uh, nothing overly. Uh, I think you're right, though. I think it's the bigger profile bait, but then mm -hmm. you take the paddle tail off of it, take that aggression off right. of it. Yeah, and these fish are a little wider. more clear water. Yep. Yeah, I absolutely. think that's exactly what it is on the West Coast. Um, this is a lure that I'm blown away by, and I'm just going to let you talk about it. I'm not going to say a word about it yet because we will be filming an episode with that lure. This lure is a uh, top, top water, weedless, soft plastic, walk the dog style cigar shaped bait. It. Uh, it comes with a big seven aught screw lock hook on the bite. The gap is very exposed, easy, good hookups. This is a bait that <clears throat> will cast a country mile. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It also skips very well if you're shooting it under docks or under mangroves. Basically rig it Texas style, skin hook it like that. It's not gonna hang up. It's gonna fish anywhere, grass, next to pilings, in the mangrove roots, it'll work its way out of those things. And again, on the bite, it's going to expose that hook easily. Uh, another benefit on this thing is a very tight walking action. When you touch the rod tip, it, it barely moves. It doesn't glide, it stays still. It'll sit here and just kind of work itself back and forth, staying in the fish's face and, uh, you know, the more aggression. time it's yeah. in their face, the more opportunity he's going to have to, to get. Yeah. So. yeah, the other thing I like about, like you said, most of the big trout that we catch in Louisiana and places that I like to fish, they're in grass. They're yeah. on the shallow flats in the grass, and you try and work a regular top water through there, yeah. it's a mess. You're, you're this raking. is cool. Yeah. This is really, really cool. Yeah, that's this. a neat bait. It's got a lot of applications. The freshwater bass guys love it. You can stop this thing. You know, most of your soft plastic baits, when you stop it, it's going to slowly sink. This one will stay up top, it'll float, it'll hover, it'll stay there. So the bass guys that are pulling this through a lily pad patch and they come to a little opening and they want to stop it. And work it slow. Just super slow it down. Um, it's all about being in the zone, as long as you stay in that it's zone. It's a very versatile bait too. There's a few things you can do to trick it out. A little screw lock in the back with a curl tail or a buzz tail. You can work it like a buzz bait top water. Uh, you can also like thread a, thread a, a, a spinnerbait skirt through there and give it like frog style legs mm -hmm. um, you know so there's a lot of versatility here um, great salt and freshwater presentation of you know ability there it's a it's a great one it's cool this is get ready october we got an episode coming on this no doubt of what if you could pick one more lure that would be kind of a, a go-to lure on the inshore side from uh the oa what would it be out of these lures well our our nuts and bolts staple is the three inch shrimp. It's what started it all. Um, yeah, and that's what we know it for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, huh? yep, the back right there. The three inch shrimp is one thing that you'll never want to be without. This is a bait that works well on any flat with uh, not a lot of current. You don't have to do much to this. You can fish it under a popping cork. It's a, it's a rig that anybody can catch fish on. Um, the trick, if, there's, if there is a trick to the shrimp, it's don't do much to it. Let the current do the work. Yep. It doesn't need much. What a normal and shrimp does. If you can show me a predatory fish that hasn't eaten a shrimp in its life, I'd like to see it. Everything's going to eat this. And, Everything's going to eat this. One reason why I not leave the house without them not having a tackle box, even if you're fishing live bait, I've had so many times that we have small fish or catfish on the round. We run out of live bait, we switch over this, we, those fish are active already, you just keep them going There's on it. There's a lot of times where this, I can I can actually, if, if the trout bite's on, you can outfish live bait simply because you're not wasting time 
trying to keep your rigs going, you know, bait, 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 bait. It, it's some way. things you'll find too. You know, it's funny you say that because I've had where these shrimp are a little bigger than the shrimp I have, and they will fish out live bait, mm -hmm. outfish live bait with bigger keeper size fish. Yeah, yeah, you'll absolutely. get too many small ones on the shrimp. You know, there's a few, there's a few variations on this. This is our, actually, this is a four inch. Our most popular is a three inch. Um, we also have a 2.75, which actually it's a it's a smaller profile, but the weight is about the same, so it works a little bit better in heavier wind or heavier current. Same kind of action, a slow. Yeah slow with the tide kind of action but a little bit heavier profile for getting through the wind and cutting yep. through the current yeah i mean that's what shrimp do they yeah. they, they, yeah, they just they float just in the current, drift with the current. and that's they and they job. twitch every once in a while and that's yeah. what a popping core comes yeah. to play giving it a exactly. little twitch and that's, that's all it is i'm fishing that shrimp i cast it out there it's a super slow just to keep the line tight kind of a reel every now and then i'll just give it a tiny little bump just to just, just to like a, a flicker little, like it would make flick, and that's it that's yep. all you have to do yep this this hands down yeah, number Probably one. the most versatile. Yeah, number one seller yeah. and stuff like that. Absolutely. Like I said, the bait buster, which they have here. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, y'all saw it in the video. It, it's in, yeah. it's incredible. I mean, the amount of cobia and tarpon we caught on that compared to live bait or anything else. Like I said, we got the sharks. Just like we get a lot of times the small stuff on mm -hmm. it. When we don't have a lure, we got right. live bait. So appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it.